Okay, so if this is your first time on the channel, I apologize up front. This is a topic about which I tend to get a little bit passionate. <laughs> so disclaimer up front, but we gotta talk about the differences between services and solutions. Cause I talk to so many people all the time. Like, yeah, I'm kind of doing what you're doing. I'm offering solutions. And I'm like, okay, well, what's your solution? And then they just start listing services and services are not solutions. You can't just change the nav item on your website from services to solutions. And suddenly you're selling solutions because like, if you do that, it messes the whole thing up. Like you can't do the marketing, you can't do the funnels. You can't do the, the legion, like all the stuff that we talk about on the channel doesn't work if that's the way that you're doing your solutions. So, Let's talk about what I mean when I talk about solutions so the rest of the videos in the channel make sense and that you'll also be able to you know, get better clients at higher prices with more recurring and consistent income by actually having a solution first agency. It's really important to know what I'm, what I'm actually talking about with regard to solutions. So the best way for me to kind of explain it is from a top-down approach. Like there's multiple layers inside of a solution and the bottom layer is the services. And there's other kind of things on top. So starting at the top, the, the top most important thing is what is the goal, right? So like we have to add varieties of things. Like the reason services aren't solutions is because services by themselves don't create goals. There's a lot of stuff going on in between to actually make sure that you hit the, hit the, the outcome that the client wants. So the way that I'm thinking about a goal is I think of a goal as a measurable business outcome. All three of those points are very meaningful. It has to be measurable in the sense that you have to know if you did it or not. It has to be a business outcome, meaning that it's not a technical benefit or it's not like my site loads a fraction of a second faster or whatever. It's like, it has some impact on the business and it actually has to be an outcome. Meaning that like, not only is it measurable, not only is it to the business, but it's an outcome that I want, right? It's like more leads, more clients, more revenue, some, some, some kind of a, some kind of a thing that I would want as a business owner. And that's the goal. And like, it could be more leads. A lot of times it's a certain revenue goal people want to hit, whatever it might be. It could be even reaching to a new audience. Like maybe you got a new product or maybe you want to it, it, it take your services to a new area, something like that. That could be a measurable business outcome. But like, you got to know what the goal is so that you know what to do to get there. So, okay, top level goal. The next level is what's the strategy you're going to use to achieve the goal. Now, the strategy is your high level kind of overarching concept of how it's going to work. So an ex examples of different types of strategies for things like lead generation could be, well, let's focus on organic traffic or let's focus on paid traffic or let's build a referral network, you know, something like that. Those are all like high level strategies for generating leads. The next step below that would be, okay, now that we've picked a strategy, let's say we pick paid traffic, for example. Well, what are the tactics that you're going to use to implement the strategy? So we got goals, we got strategy. The next layer is tactics. And tactics would be, okay, like if you pick paid traffic, maybe what kind of paid traffic would you, would you, would you do? Would it be Facebook ads, Google ads? you know, direct mailing campaigns, you know, like, like all of that stuff is, is, are paid ways to reach people. And so you would choose which tactic you would need in order to achieve the right strategy for the right goal. But we still haven't even hit the services yet. Like we've already gone goal strategy to tactics and we haven't even gotten to the services yet. The services are now the bottom thing. Meaning like if you picked a direct mail campaign, for example, then what services would you need to implement in order to kind of fulfill on that tactic. So for example, if you were doing direct mail, you'd probably have to do design services because you have to design what the mailer looks like. You'd probably need some kind of a QR code service that then tracks the, the scans and the clicks back to a landing page. So now I got to build a landing page. So there's design there. You'll probably have an email opt-in on the landing page. So now there's email marketing, right? So like those are services, but we didn't even get to the service until that bottom part. And you most of the time don't even have to talk about them, right? Like most of the time you're just talking about the goals, the strategies and the tactics. And if you find yourself getting into the services, you're probably too far into the weeds and you're overwhelming the client at that point. And they're thinking like, I don't know what all this stuff is. They're, they're not listening to you anymore. And if they are listening to you and they're just feeling overwhelmed. And so like, it's a red flag if you're actually talking about services when you're in, in your actual marketing because it's overwhelming, it's too much, it's, it's too deep. And so that's the, those are the layers that go into a solution. So if you don't have all four of those layers, the goals, the strategies, the tactics, and the services, 
you don't have a solution in the way that I'm talking about solutions. So with that out of the way, let's talk about like, we kind of in, in, that, in that kind of definition, we sort of went through an example, but let's do another example. Let's suppose you're working with, um, let's suppose you're working with somebody who builds like fences and decks and stuff. And you would like to, they would like to broaden their service area and they are asking you to help them do that. So then you think, okay, well, the objective, the goal is to take fences and decks into a new service area so you can start getting leads from, let's say, the Foxhead subdivision that we were just talking about. And then you think, okay, well, why would we pick that? Well, because maybe there's a lot of new homes in Foxhead and they don't have fences and decks yet. So like new homes, new construction, that's a pretty good target market for people that build fences and decks because a lot of houses, if it's new construction, they don't come with that stuff. You have to add that on after the fact. So that makes that a pretty good target. So you think, well, how are you going to reach it? So we now have the goal, which is we want to get clients from the Foxhead subdivision. Now we need to figure out a strategy of how are we going to reach those people? Do we want to do like organic traffic? Because that seems like that would be pretty hard if you're trying to just do organic search traffic to try to reach that specific of an audience, that might not be the best strategy. Well, what about some kind of a paid strategy then? Would Facebook ads be a good idea? Maybe it's a little bit better because you could probably target based on zip code, but it's still hard to get just that neighborhood with Facebook ads. So then you think, well, what, what can I do that's better? Well, maybe you do like an every door direct mail campaign where you can literally target that exact neighborhood and put postcards in the residential mailboxes of the people that live in Foxhead for like 35 cents a card. So it's like super affordable, super targeted, and that would be a really great way to, to reach that audience. So now we know what the strategy is, a direct mail campaign. Okay, so now we got the goal, reaching the people in Foxhead, the strategy, direct mail campaign seems like a good idea. And now we have some tactics that we want to put in place. How do we implement the direct mail campaign? Well, there's going to be a couple of things. We're probably going to have to send the mailer. There's probably going to need to be a landing page. The landing page is probably going to need to have an email opt-in. And the opt-in is probably going to go to um, nurturing the lead until they, they actually schedule an appointment to, to build a fence or a deck. So those are kind of the tactics. So then you say, okay, well, what about the services now? Well, the, the bottom line behind the services, well, you have to do some design skills. You're gonna to have to design the, the postcard. You have to have some web development skills to build the landing page. You got to some email marketing skills to do the, the email opt-in and the, the nurturing sequence. Probably some kind of a calendar, online calendar to book calls and appointments. So there's some kind of implementation skill there. So like those would be like the services that you would then implement the tactics and the strategy and the goals. So do you, but do you see like the kind of like that cascading flow from goals to strategy to tactics to services? And you really don't really need to talk too much about the services because most people understand, hey, if we're going to send a postcard, so it's got to look like something. It's going to have to say something. You're probably going to have to click on like, and when you talk about clicking the link to go to the landing page, obviously somebody's got to build the landing page, right? So you don't really have to talk. The services oftentimes are just sort of assumed. And you don't really have to go deep into the weeds about all that stuff. But you do need the other three layers in your marketing. You have to say, this is what we can do. This is basically how we're going to pull it off. And these are the tactics we're going to use to implement that strategy. And most of your marketing can just revolve around those three layers. And you don't really even need to talk about the services. And that's why I get so frustrated when people say, oh, yeah, I just renamed my services page to my solutions page. Because like, out of all the things that you talk about with regard to a solution, the services are like the last thing, right? It's like you almost don't talk about that part at all. And so there you go. So I know I'm a little bit animated today or whatever, talking about this whole solution services thing. But I got to tell you, like, if, if this is resonating with you and you want to even see a bigger example, like check out this next video and I'll show you like a five pillar solution. That's like a lead generation solution for local businesses that have like face-to-face -face interactions with their clients that you can sell from like five to maybe $17,000. And it's all right here. Like check this video out for that. But the big thing is the concept of building a solution first agency you have to have the goals, the strategies, and the tactics, and you minimize the concept of the services because if you focus on the services, you've commoditized your business. It's easy to get the services. It's hard to find people that can achieve goals. You want to be in the goals section if you want to have like high ticket recurring revenue, long-term clients. So there you go for that. Check out this next video and I'll show you a big example of a really large solution between like five to 17 grand. All right, I'll see you there.